What is up everyone, Base the Luke here with another Genshin Impact video. In today's video, we're going to take a first look at Hu Tao, which is the new polearm wielding unit that thrives on dealing pyro damage on low HP. I will be going over her talents, her weapon and artifact choices, as well as her playstyle and a few potential team comps to use with her. Is she worth pulling? Let's find out. Okay, so here's my level 80 Ascension 6 Hu Tao. These are her final stats with her weapon and artifacts equipped. I'm personally using the Staff of Homo, which is undoubtedly her best in slot weapon because it has such a strong synergy with her kit. The crit damage substat will stack on top of Hu Tao's crit damage that she gains upon ascension, and the passive is quite clearly tailored for Hu Tao as it will significantly boost your HP as well as your attack when below 50% HP. In turn, she won't have any issues for tapping into the full potential of this spear since she is geared towards a low HP playstyle. Obviously, there are other choices for her weapons, she could very well use the other 5 star pole arms like the Jade Spear, the Scarred Spine, or the Vortex Vanquisher and deal insane damage. As her 4 star options, I would definitely recommend Deathmatch and Blackcliff Pole for their crit stats or the Dragon's Bane for its passive. In terms of artifacts, you have tons of options. You can go for 4 piece Crimson Witch, 4 piece Lava Walker, 4 piece Gladiator, 2 piece Crimson, 2 piece Glad, or even 2 piece Crimson and 2 piece Noblesse if you solely want her for a burst. You can also use 4 piece Bolide if you use a shielding unit. All in all, I would definitely recommend aiming for the set that has the better substats. I do believe that her best in slot set for a Vaporizer Melt Comp would be Crimson Witch, but in a Pyro only setting, the Lava Walker will probably be better. As for the main stats, I personally choose to run a Pyro Damage Cup and a Crit Rate Circlet. In this case, my timepiece is attack percent, but it should probably be swapped for HP to get the most out of my E skill. I went for attack in this showcase, but I may compare this in the future video to establish which one is the best main stat. As for the substats, the most beneficial ones would be crit rate, crit damage, and HP percent. Other stats like attack percent, elemental mastery, energy recharge, and flat HP are also welcome but not prioritized. Alright, so before getting into the showcase, let's have a look at her kit. In terms of talents, she has them all the way up to level 8. I believe that the talent priority would change depending on how you aim to use her. However, I would generally recommend leveling her autos first, followed by her E skill, and then her burst. Her autos have quite a good scaling, especially her charge attacks, which will be somewhat the focus of a main DPS for dealing huge bursts of damage. Her E skill is also very important, as it will significantly boost your attack based on your HP, and it will imbue your autos with Pyro. On top of that, the HP drain will contribute towards dealing more damage overall with her combo sequence. Lastly, her burst ability has very strong scaling and can hit extremely hard, especially on an elemental reaction. This ability is meant to be used when below 50% HP, which is why her E is so valuable. Her combo sequence would simply consist of her using her E, followed by a normal or charge attacks until she reaches low health. Once below the half HP threshold, using her burst would ensure amazing damage, but you need to make sure that your E skill is still active to benefit from its attack boost. In terms of ascension passives, Hu Tao has some insane talents. Her first one will grant 12% crit rate to your party when switching out of her E skill. This is very valuable no matter what team you go for because it will increase overall consistency for better DPS. Finally, her second ascension passive is insanely strong since it will boost your pyro damage significantly. This is another reason to keep her under 50% HP as much as possible because the damage increase is exponential. For her team comps, Hu Tao will strongly benefit from a Hydro or Cryo Reactive sub DPS to enable Vaporizer Melt. I believe that Jingshou, Mona, Keia, and Ganyu are all top tier choices to make her damage ceiling go much higher. Out of all of them, Jingshou is the absolute best for applying consistent Hydro debuffs for Vaporize, so that would be my recommendation. Unlike many units, Hu Tao doesn't really need a healer because she is meant to sustain herself at a low HP. For this reason, I think it's incredibly beneficial beneficial to run a shielding support instead. I believe that Zhongli and Diona would be the top choices when it comes to shielding her. Zhongli would provide a resistance shred and Diona could provide some elemental mastery and melt reactions. For the flex unit, I would strongly recommend a utility support like Venti, Sucrose, Bennett or Albedo since their kit can open a lot of damage opportunities. 
Now, I will review her playstyle and point out her strengths and weaknesses. First of all, Hu Tao's gameplay is very engaging and enjoyable. She revolves around dealing insanely high pyro damage with her basic attacks and her burst when under the effect of her E skill. I would consider her as one of the best single target damage dealer in the game. However, this doesn't come without any trade-offs. In order to have her damage maximized, she needs to remain below 50% HP. This means that she will be vulnerable to attacks and in turn will have to dodge around a bit more. On top of that, her charge attacks, which is one of her most potent source of damage, requires a lot of stamina. Using a shielding support could potentially fix this issue, but her stamina management is definitely one of her top concerns. Fortunately enough, Hu Tao doesn't suffer from any energy recharge issues and the relatively low downtime of 7 seconds on her E skill does add a lot of flow to her kit. So all in all, despite having a slightly higher skill gap due to the nature of her glass cannon kit, I believe that Hu Tao could potentially compete with the top choices for main carries such as the Luke, Ganyu, and Zhao. Her kit heavily favors dealing single target damage which can be further amplified with the right supports. Now, is she worth pulling? Well, if you really enjoy her playstyle, if you need a main carry that has access to melt and vaporize, and if you have good supports available for her, I would actually probably recommend pulling for her since she does offer a lot with her kit. Alright, so in conclusion, Hu Tao is an amazing 5 star unit for anyone looking to get their hands on a fun and engaging main DPS to play. Her main strength is definitely her ability to deal sustained DPS on single targets. Revolving around the use of charge attacks on a low HP, she will be requiring more attention in terms of HP and stamina management, but this is only part of her skill gap. I will definitely make more videos about her in the near future, like comparing her to other units such as the Luke, or trying to establish which set of artifacts is the best choice for her. But that's gonna be it for now. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and on that note, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out.